20 teacher job interview questions and answers. If you are preparing for your job interview as a teacher, here are 20 teacher interview questions with example answers. You don't have to memorize the answers, but take note of some of the vocabulary, ideas, and expressions you can use in your own answers. In an interview, it is essential to provide specific examples from your teaching experience to illustrate your teaching philosophy and methods effectively. Highlighting your enthusiasm for working with young learners and showcasing your ability to create an inclusive and engaging learning environment will make you a strong candidate for the teaching position. Why do you want to be a teacher? When you're asked this question during an interview, you'll have an opportunity to discuss your dedication to teaching. Every teacher has their reasons for entering this profession, so feel free to provide personal anecdotes in your answer. Be sure to explain your passion for teaching and any person or experience that inspired you to enter the profession. I became a teacher because of my high school algebra teacher's impact on my life. Math doesn't always come naturally to me, but she took the time not only to explain the material in a way that made sense to me, but also helped me understand that every form of intelligence is equally valuable. There's no job more important than teaching the future leaders of our world the information they need to know but more importantly, showing them their own worth, potential and ability to form their own opinions by thinking critically and observing the world around them. Why do you want to teach at our school? This question reveals whether you research the school and district, conduct thorough research about the student body, how the community views the school, test scores and other aspects of the school district shows you're serious about the position. When answering this question, demonstrate your knowledge of both the school and its district. Explain why this information enhances your interest in the institution. A strong answer could include information about recent test scores, specific programs or awards earned by the school. I am inspired by this school's reputation for educational excellence and for encouraging creativity through its renowned arts program. I note that there has been a dip in AP test scores in recent years, so I'm extremely motivated to introduce my teaching strategies. I feel confident that I could help students improve their scores and opportunities for success. Tell us about your teaching philosophy and how it influences your instructional approach. My teaching philosophy centers around student-centered learning, where I strive to create a nurturing and engaging environment that supports each student's unique needs and learning styles. I believe in fostering critical thinking creativity, and a love for lifelong learning. By incorporating hands-on activities, collaborative learning, and real-world connections, I aim to empower students to become active participants in their education. How do you differentiate your instruction to meet the needs of diverse learners in the classroom? Differentiation in the classroom refers to the practice of tailoring instruction and learning experiences to meet the diverse needs, abilities, and interests of students. It involves adjusting teaching methods, content, and assessments to ensure that all students can effectively engage and make progress in their learning. Differentiation is essential to address the varying needs of students. I assess each student's strengths, weaknesses, and learning styles to tailor my instruction accordingly. I incorporate a variety of teaching strategies, materials, and assessments to provide multiple entry points for understanding. By offering scaffolding, extension activities, and individualized support, I strive to ensure that all students can succeed and reach their full potential. Describe a time when you successfully differentiated instruction for a student with special needs or learning challenges. In my previous experience, I had a student with dyslexia who struggled with reading. To support their learning, I provided multi-sensory materials such as as tactile letters and word building activities to reinforce phonic skills. I also offered additional guided reading sessions tailored to their reading level and provided assistive technology tools for independent practice. By adapting the curriculum and incorporating differentiated strategies, the student showed significant improvement and grew more confident in their reading ability. How do you create a positive classroom environment and manage behavior effectively? Creating a positive classroom environment is vital for learning. I established clear expectations and a supportive atmosphere through consistent routines, positive reinforcement 
and open communication. I believe in building relationships with students, showing empathy and actively listening to their concerns. By implementing proactive behavior management strategies, such as promoting intrinsic motivation, fostering a sense of ownership and providing opportunities for student voice and choice. I aim to create a respectful and engaging classroom. How do you promote a positive and inclusive classroom environment? I promote a positive and inclusive classroom environment by celebrating diversity, fostering respect and empathy, and incorporating culturally responsive teaching practices. I encourage students to appreciate each other's differences and create opportunities for collaboration and teamwork. How do you engage students who seem disinterested or unmotivated? To engage disinterested or unmotivated students, I employ various strategies such as incorporating real world examples, using hands-on activities, fostering student choice, and connecting the curriculum to their interests. Building positive relationships with students and providing meaningful feedback also plays a crucial role in motivation. How do you handle a situation where a student is disruptive in class? When faced with a disruptive student, I employ a calm and assertive approach. I address the behavior privately using active listening and empathy to understand their perspective. Together, we establish clear expectations, consequences, and a plan for improvement while maintaining the dignity of the student. How do you encourage critical thinking and problem solving skills in your students? I encourage critical thinking and problem solving skills by incorporating open ended questions, real world scenarios and hands on activities into my lessons. I provide opportunities for students to analyze, evaluate and apply their knowledge, fostering a deep understanding of concepts and developing their problem solving abilities. How do you assess students learning and track progress? I believe in using a combination of formative and summative assessments to assess student learning. Formative assessments such as observation, class discussions, and quizzes allow me to monitor understanding in real time and provide immediate feedback. Summative assessments such as tests, projects, and portfolios help me evaluate overall learning and growth over time. Regular data analysis and reflection allow me to identify areas for improvement and make instructional adjustments to support student progress effectively. How do you engage parents or guardians in their child's education? I believe in fostering strong partnerships with parents or guardians to support student success. I maintain open lines of communication by initiating regular parent-teacher conferences, communication, sending newsletters and updates, and promptly responding to their concerns. I also encourage parental involvement in the classroom through volunteering opportunities, parent workshops, and collaborative projects. By establishing a collaborative relationship, we can work together to create a supportive learning environment for the student. How do you stay current with educational trends and best practices? I am committed to professional growth and staying abreast of current trends and best practices in education. I regularly attend conferences, workshops, and webinars related to my subject area or grade level. I actively seek out educational research read professional literature and participate in online communities to exchange ideas and learn from fellow educators. By staying informed and continuously reflecting on my teaching practices, I ensure that I am providing the best education for my students. I also like this video and subscribe to the Etiquette English Teachers channel. How do you integrate technology into your teaching? I see technology as a powerful tool to enhance learning experiences. I integrate technology by incorporating interactive educational apps, online resources, and multimedia presentations to engage students and provide them with authentic learning opportunities. I also encourage students to collaborate on digital platforms, use educational software for practice and skill development, and employ digital tools for research and creativity. By leveraging technology, I aim to prepare students for the digital age and facilitate their critical thinking and problem solving skills. How do you handle conflicts or challenges within a team 
or with colleagues. In a team or collaborative setting, conflicts can arise, but I believe in addressing them constructively. I prioritize open and respectful communication, actively listening to others' perspectives and finding common ground. I am willing to compromise and seek solutions that benefit everyone involved. If needed, I would involve a mediator or seek guidance from a team leader or administrator to promote a healthy and collaborative working environment. Describe a time when you implemented innovative teaching methods or strategies in the classroom. In a recent unit on environmental sustainability, I wanted to engage students in a hands-on project that would deepen their understanding of the topic. I introduced a project-based learning approach where students had to design and create a sustainable solution for a real-world environmental challenge. Through research, collaboration and presentations, students showcased their creativity and critical thinking skills. This project not only fostered a deep understanding of the subject matter, but also promoted skills such as problem solving, communication and teamwork. How do you handle students with special needs or individual education plans, IEPs. I collaborate with special education teachers and support staff to create personalized learning plans that address the specific needs of students with IEPs. I adapt my teaching strategies, materials, and assessments to accommodate their learning styles and provide necessary accommodations or modifications. How do you handle a tight schedule and manage multiple responsibilities? I prioritize tasks by setting clear goals and creating a well-structured plan. I utilize time management strategies such as creating to-do lists and breaking tasks into smaller manageable parts. I also delegate responsibilities when appropriate and seek support from colleagues when needed. How do you promote creativity and innovation in the classroom? I promote creativity and innovation by providing opportunities for students to explore and express their ideas through project-based learning, brainstorming sessions, and open-ended assignments. I encourage risk-taking, divergent thinking, and the integration of different perspectives to foster a creative classroom environment. What questions do you have for us? This question is typically asked at the end of the interview and is a critical part of the interview. Asking thoughtful and researched questions shows your interest in the position and supports a memorable final impression. Come prepared to the interview with a few questions and jot down or make a mental note of any new questions that arise throughout the interview. They could include, how would you describe the culture of the school? What quality do you look for in a candidate? What are you most proud of when it comes to your school? What extracurricular activities are offered to students? 